this video is actually the second version of how to give the fair faucet haircut. That's right, the first version, if you recall. <laughs> the camera shut off right when I was showing you the sectioning and how to overdirect, etc. So um, I contacted my original hair model for that video, and she has agreed to let me reshoot it. And she's going to come over here to the house and she's bringing her son. So hopefully that means he can hold the camera in some of the spots that, you know, we had a hard time showing. I don't know. I just know we're going to try it and hopefully this will be helpful. So for on. this haircut, you're only going to need a few things. Some water so the hair stays wet, a pair of scissors, a comb, and of course a cape for your client. Okay, so this is Joanne, my original hair model for the Fair Fawcett haircut, and we're going to go ahead and do this again. She just washed her hair, and now I'm going to get her wet with the bottle. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do it again. Thank you. Okay, once you get your client caped, you're going to want to have your comb, you're going to want to have your spray bottle, and get that hair wet. Always get the hair wet, as wet as possible. Normally, I dunk them in the sink because it's a lot quicker than the spray bottle. But as long as you've got a spray bottle, you can get the hair wet. Once the hair is completely drenched, comb everything backwards. The most important part when giving the Fair Fawcett haircut, of course, is establishing the guideline for that haircut. And always start in the front, like, you want your first layer to land by your eyes? Is that what you want? Yeah, like by my eyebrows. Mm -hmm. By your eyebrows. Okay, mm -hmm. so just take that snip. Now, this is your guideline for the rest of the entire haircut. Abide by it. What I do is measure by the eyes again, section off this way. Pick up the hair with the comb. And for that first layer down the middle, because that determines the rest of the haircut, you decide how much you're going to cut off. So how much are we going to cut off today? One inch, two inch, what? What do you want? Uh, an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch? We can do one inch. One inch. Okay, so she wants one inch. So you can measure if you want with your comb. There is a ruler on the comb. I know what an inch looks like, so I don't need to use my ruler. That's an inch. So we're going to take an inch off. And this will be the actual guideline for the rest of the haircut. Again, you pick it up. See, you can see the long hair to the short hair. Got it? Okay. Now, you take the hair, section it, and now you're going to start over-directing. What I mean by over-directing is you're going to come forward with the back of the hair that you just sectioned and snip it down to this hair. Okay, <laughs> look forward. All right, so now I'm left-handed, but I'm gonna come up this direction and try and show you what I'm doing. I'm sectioning off this way, and then I'm coming forward. Again, section, and then go forward, and then I'm seeing where that section is that I just created that guideline and I'm cutting so that it matches up as you see to the rest of the hair. Now don't be afraid to pick up that hair and cut. Again wet the hair just keep it as right. wet as possible. Now put your head down. When it comes to sectioning and over directing on this haircut you can pick it inch, a quarter inch, an eighth of an inch, depends on how many layers you want. But the whole goal is to not lose the length. That's what makes the Farrah Fawcett haircut look so good because even though it's short on top, it's still long every place else. So in order to not lose the length, you have to over direct in this haircut. So you pick up the section, you come forward, comb it all the way to the front where you first established your guideline. That's right. And when you pick it up, you're going to see right there the short hair and the long hair. Cut any hair that falls past that dark hair. That's right, the shorter hair. <laughs> and don't be afraid to do it. Just snip it. You're not going to lose your length. Okay, again, you're going to look down. Have your client look down. Don't be afraid to push their head. 
section off a quarter inch, eighth of an inch, or an inch, however big of a section you have decided you're taking. Comb it forward. And as you comb it forward, you will see the dark hair, which is the shorter hair, and your guideline against the hair that you're going to be cutting. Sniff it off. Just that simple. Take it all the way down. Again, section. Bring it forward. And then do the same thing. Just bring it to the very front. And you'll see less and less hair is coming off. So, and one more time. Pick up that last section. Bring it forward. Come up to where your guideline was. And see, you can see hardly anything's coming off. So this way she hasn't lost any length at all. Okay, now you can do the exact same thing on the side. So you turn your client's head this way, comb her hair that way, pick up a section, eighth of an inch, quarter, whatever section you've been doing back there, you're going to do on the sides also. Bring it up, have your client look that direction, and you're over directing just a little bit. See how you can see the short hair underneath it? And you snip. Again, pick up a section, comb it towards your guideline, over direct by just a smidget so you don't lose your length, and cut. One more time. Section. <laughs> Comb it up towards the guideline. Over direct by an eighth of an inch. And cut. Again. <laughs> See, it's so simple. This haircut really is like one of the easiest haircuts to do on somebody. And it looks great when you get done and snip. And then to check your work, again, you just go like that with your hand. Does it feather back? Yes, it does. Okay, go ahead and wet the hair again so you can do the other side. Once again, after wetting, comb all the hair backwards. And then come over to the other side. This way right here. And do the same thing you just did in the back and on this other side. Yes, I am making her sit on the seat of honor, the throne. <laughs> the haircut's basically finished. Now you just want to go ahead and wet it down one more time. Not only to check, but to go ahead and take your ends off the very bottom. Go ahead and look down. Don't be afraid to push that customer's hair down. They expect it. Then pull it out and just take your very tips off. I don't know if you can see it, but I can. Okay, haircut is finished. Run your fingers through it. I'll be the first to admit the bathroom is not the place to give a haircut. If you can avoid it, do so at all costs. <laughs> that is why I work at a salon. <laughs> but we wanted to show you how this is done. So thank the model. Say thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and blow dry her to show you the outcome. But hopefully this video... Give you a little more insight on how this haircut is done. Main goal is make sure you section, make sure you over direct, and make sure you don't lose any of your length. Time to go ahead and blow dry this hair. <laughs> I really appreciate you being my model today because I know this is very uncomfortable. You know, this is not the place to film a video <laughs> or give a haircut, but <laughs> yeah, she was kind enough to let me abuse her. So, oh. Wanna no. go ahead? <laughs> Don't abuse me. Oh yes I do. Okay, let's get the other side. Looking to you there. Looks really good. Feels good. Yes. Lengthwise. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish you off with some rollers to show the the finished product. Product. Okay. Okay. 
But the length is good, right? Yes. You're happy with that. Oh. <laughs> Basically, you're just going to go ahead and pick up the top. Nothing spectacular, but pick it up. Pick up a small roller. Unless, of course, you want your bang to come forward, then leave your bang without the, the roller in it. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and show it with the roller, what it looks like. Pick up a big section. Doesn't have to be perfect, just a section of hair. Pick up a big roller and go for it. And just roll backwards. That's all you got to do. Roll backwards and clip. Now, you're going to pick up the side of the hair. Big section, see? <laughs> big old section because we want big old curls right now. But I'm still going to use a small roller. And you're going to come forward. Now, the hot roller is hot, so, you know, if you got sensitive fingers, be <laughs> prepared. <laughs> but basically, you're just rolling backwards. And this is how you're going to get the classic Farrah Fawcett hairstyle. And just roll it. Pick up that clippy and go for it. Pick up another section. And, of course, roll backwards again. This time, using a bigger roller. And go backwards. See, it's, it's really quite simple. And then do the same to the other side. And the back to the last two, look down. You're just rolling it backwards. Big rollers, doesn't matter. Put it in, but just roll sideways and backwards. <laughs> and this will give you the classic Farrah Fawcett hairstyle. Of course, it does help having the classic Farrah Fawcett haircut. <laughs> so, make sure, you know, if, if you're trying to sport this look, you just have some hot rollers and the haircut. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like here from the side. See, this is going backwards. This is going backwards. This is going backwards. That's meeting that section going all the same direction, see, going back. And then this one on top. So basically, it's pretty easy to do. The first thing you're going to do is take off the top part and just comb it, just like that, see? <laughs> the rollers have been in the hair for about five minutes. Go ahead and take them out. Okay, so what do you think? How does it feel? Feels good. Feels good? Excellent. <laughs> That's it. You pat it and tap it, and then you can see all those lines in the hair. See? Mm -hmm. That's what I like to see. The lines in the hair. <laughs> I think the most impressive part was that you managed to straddle that toilet seat for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and this is the finished product. That's the back. That's the side. Okay, look at me. <laughs> yes, say hi. <laughs> and then, of course, the other side. So, basically, again, you've been kind enough to be the Farrah Fawcett hair model. And I've got to say thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> and thanks for sitting on that toilet. <laughs>